Hello everyone, I am Dr. Srikant Munna, Consultant, Urologist and Andrologist from V9 Hospitals, Begum Bay. Today we are going to discuss about sperm morphology. So generally in semen analysis, when a couple is trying for pregnancy, when there is no factor found from the female side or when there is a suspected factor from the male partner, the first test we order is semen analysis. So we know that sperm count should be so and so sperm should have a certain motility for it to swim and reach the egg and from it there has to be penetration properly and an embryo should form. So for this penetration or for this sperm motility the morphology of the sperm morphology is like physical appearance it is important. So how does a sperm attain a morphology and what should be the normal morphology and what if I have total abnormal sperms that is the topic of the day is 100% abnormal sperms with a good count and a good motility. Is it going to affect my pregnancy? Will it make me infertile? What should be the precautions taken to increase that? And what are the procedures that can be followed to make me pregnant? That is the question of discussion today. So a sperm should have a good morphology which is seen under a good microscope. So when is morphology given attention for? There are a lot other parameters in a semen analysis like apart from count and quality which includes motility and morphology. There are factors like WBC2, C for the pus cells where infection could be the cause or there could be detection of fructose like component, the pH, the volume, everything. There are a lot other factors but these three are the important. One is volume, second one is count, third one is quality. Again, in this quality, the two components are mainly motility and morphology. Motility, say for example, a good sperm semen, uh, sample should have roughly around 40 million sperms. If you see per ml concentration, it should be at least 16 million concentration and the volume of that sperm should be roughly around 2 to 2.5 ml in that complete semen. So it comes to around somewhere 40 million concentration for the entire sample you have given and concentration should be at least 16 million per ml. These are the WHO guidelines. Similarly, for the morphology, if you see, a sperm should have a good head, a middle piece and a tail. So the head part contains the DNA. That means whatever the genetic material is transferred from the father to a male child or a female child will be in this head of that sperm. The head should be oval in shape and at the tip of this sperm head, there will be a component called as acrosome, which is like a pointed tip for the spear, which helps in the penetration when it finds an egg. The egg is around 400 times larger than the sperm and around 40 million sperms will be competing to enter into that egg. So a sperm should have a good acrosome with a chemical reaction where it can induce a drilling hole in the egg layer and it should penetrate. And the head will should have a proper DNA material. If the DNA is broken, sometimes we may find that as DNA fragmentation index, there will be chances even if the acrosome and head and the rest of the morphology is good, if your DNA is not good, once it goes inside, it may not create a good embryo. So there may be a pregnancy loss, which we call as miscarriages or abortions. So a DNA material should be good. And the next part is central part or the middle piece. The middle piece will have an important component called a centriole. This centriole is the major component for the development of the embryo. So the penetration happened, the DNA material has been incorporated into the egg, then forms the baby, the embryo. The embryo should grow until it is self-sustainable. Till then the centriole will have chemicals or the minerals which supplement this embryo to survive till that period. And the last component is the tail and tail is of course the mechanical component which helps the sperm to go in the direction whichever acrosomes pulls it. It should be not twitching, it should be like a wave. Okay, the tail should lash or leash like a wave where it can project forward. Just movement in the same place is not sufficient. So when you check at the motility, there are two components, progressive motility and non-progressive motility. So 
there may be movement but the sperm if you are seeing under a microscope it will be twitching it will be moving the 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 tail will be lashing but only the sperm stands there it doesn't go forward that is non progressive motility and the more important component is progressive motility that means whenever the tail is lashing or beating the sperm should proceed in a forward direction which is guided by the chemicals released from the egg so this is a progressive motility this progressive motility should be at least one third of your total sperm concentration that means if you are able to find 40 million in a semen sample one third of it that is roughly around 15 million should be progressively motile and more than 10% of that should be rapidly progressive again that means if we keep a running race or a swimming race between these sperms one third of the sperm should be moving and out of it at least half of the sperms should be in a better position that means they should be rapidly progressive reaching the finish line faster than the other sperms so these concentrations and quality of these sperms and the minute things which we are measuring at this point these are all important in making you pregnant so coming to the tail the morphologies the defects in the morphology which they can happen is no tail or a short tail or a too long tail for it to obstructing its own movement or a double tail sometimes we can we can have three tails these are the morphologies sometimes the centriole or the middle piece is too short the components in the centriole are missing so the sperm may have only a large head and a short tail with the middle piece missing and sometimes there can be head defects where the head can be round so that the acrosome will be protruded to other direction rather than the direction penetrating forward or into the egg or the head may be containing damaged dna material or missed dna material these all things needs to be properly verified before projecting onto the semen analysis report so this reporting is done according to who guidelines where they give as strict criteria according to strict criteria 4% of these sperms should be matching this criteria which we have discussed the proper a perfect sperm to say it as a perfect sperm that means at least 4 sperms out of 100 sperms counted on a microscope should have a good morphology so that morphology may not be the cause for your delay in pregnancy so what if i have abnormal sperms what if i have only one normal sperm and 99% are defects what if it is 100 and 0 what if it is 3 and 97 is it the cause for your loss of pregnancy or delay in pregnancy according to studies what has been best pictureized is these descriptions matches to the 95th percentile of the population that means if you take retrogradely if you check the semen samples of 100 fathers who already have children and who already conceived naturally 95 out of them will have these criteria according to which we have described still the other five fathers who have poor reports according to this reporting system still are able to father their child so there are fathers who have sperm motility or morphology poor than a who guideline who have 100% abnormal sperms okay at this point of time they may be having normal sperm before but if you have counted now still they are able to father their child that means the guidelines which are described are only for the 95th percentile of the population we cannot tell them as 100% full proof and we cannot write off any partner that he can't father a child because of this report so this is the positive point which we should take from here if your report is normal we can say that this is not the cause for your delay in pregnancy having said that if a report is abnormal say for example if you are having abnormal sperms still i cannot write off you that you cannot become a father still there are chances we can make you father through some other procedures so morphology is one thing which is developed from the cell lineage at a genetic level it is not an acquired problem count and quality that is motility can be increased by treating some acquired factors like infections varicocele problem hormonal issues these all things can be corrected and the sperm count and motility can be increased 
but morphology is one thing which you are harboring it from your childhood and when the age comes for it to grow it may be growing in this condition so what if you have 0% normal forms and 100% abnormal forms still we can check this under an ICSI microscope or an IVF microscope at 6000x zoom and we still we may be able to find some normal sperms we can purify the abnormal thing we can purify or concentrate the normal sperms and utilize them for IVF or a simple procedure called as IUI so if the morphology is abnormal but if you still have a good count and quality which we can modify with treatments even if your morphology is abnormal we can make you become father so for more questions or any queries please contact to us at v9 hospitals thank you very much